It's a good morning to be giving motivational stuff. My dog just snored. <laughs> I'm Leila Alcacid and I'm very excited because thanks to Wanda, I'm going to be getting real with you guys and showing you my morning skincare routine along with a very simple everyday skin focused girl on the go makeup routine. So let's get started. Skincare. I love skincare. I always start my morning cleansing. I feel like it just helps to get rid of any residual nighttime skincare products as well as any like oils that built up overnight. So I already did that for you guys. This is the one I use. It's the Summer Fridays cleanser. Very good, gentle cleanser. Next product I like to start with is the Hydrating Essence. This is from Dam Dam Tokyo. And it's very hydrating. It's a really good foundation for the rest of my skincare. I like to focus my morning skincare routine on like hydrating and bringing in glow and doing this and kind of deep puffing and just getting myself ready to tackle whatever I have to tackle. So this product is really good for that. This is the Use of the People Vitamin C Serum. I have been really into skincare for pretty much as long as I can remember. My mom got me into it. She bought me my first skincare set I think it was cleanser, exfoliator, and a moisturizer. And I was so excited. I used it religiously. I was like, oh my gosh, this is my first big girl thing. And it made me feel like I was just taking care of my skin and feeling beautiful. And ever since then, I've just been really diligent about it. And I have to thank my mom for that. She always taught me like, your skin is the foundation of everything. So thank you, mommy. After that, oh, we're gonna do a thing, an exciting thing. So I recently learned about niacinamide. This is a niacinamide serum. It's like a booster. You can add it to other products. So I'm gonna mix it with my facial lotion. I feel like a scientist. And put this all over my face. I have combination skin, which tends to err on the oily side. So I like something that's a little more lightweight that doesn't make me feel really oily or make my skin feel like I have a ton of stuff on it. There's this whole trend right now about self-love and like accepting your natural flaws and just, you know, being confident in your own skin. But speaking from personal experience, it's so much easier said than done to do that. It's really hard to just be like, okay, I love myself and genuinely feel it. So one thing that I tried to do for me was to put effort into myself. So. I'll do the research into the skincare to make sure that I'm giving my skin the best chance to be as good as it can be. I'll do research into nutrition and what food I should be eating so that I'm glowing and feeling good and nourishing my body from the inside out. Same thing with exercise or feeding the mind, mental health, all of that stuff. If you give yourself the best chance possible by making sure you're doing everything you can to take care of yourself, for me, I feel like that made it so much easier for me to love the parts of myself that I found hard to love. And it just was like, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Obviously this is where I'm at and I appreciate that. So that's my little motivational tidbit for today. Next step is SPF, sunblock, so important. Growing up in Australia, we have very harsh sun and sunscreen and sun safety is like blasted at you from a young age on like TV ads, slip, slop, slap, that's the tagline. And I never did it. I was like, you know, I wanted to be tan. I wanted to get freckles. I wanted to be glowing. And honestly, it makes me cringe thinking about like how many hours I spent under the sun just damaging my skin. So now I am very, very diligent. Even if you're inside, like the UV rays are still hitting you. So SPF is very important. Okay. So skincare is done. We're gonna do makeup now. I'd say around two years ago, I wore a lot of makeup and that was because I had really, really bad skin. I was diagnosed with PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's a very common thing. It causes a lot of different problems, but one of them is like very bad skin. And I just had acne like all over my face and it was just really bad, I felt really insecure. Like I really feel for people who have breakouts and they deal with acne because it really does something to your self-esteem. And that was a moment for me where I really had to like work through it and like 
find confidence from within. And luckily I figured out what worked for me in terms of skincare and how to get rid of it. Chemical exfoliants will be your best friend. AHAs, BHAs, that's what worked for me. I used salicylic acid and all my breakouts after a couple months really went away. And once that happened, I decided I'm just going to strip back my makeup. I'm going to enjoy my natural skin. And so that's how I am now. That's why I'm confident enough to show myself on social media wearing zero makeup because I went through that time where I felt so insecure and I was like, you know what, as much as I love makeup and I love, you know, dressing up and making myself look special, I also love ordinary me. So this is a perfect product for that. This is the Tinted Moisturizer from Laura Mercier. I use Fawn. It's just so, again, lightweight. It doesn't cover up, like, for example, my freckles. Just like gives me a nice, even skin tone. And that's really what I'm looking for when I use makeup. I love Tinted Moisturizer. Now, usually I would stop there if like I'm feeling all right with my skin. I don't really have to use a concealer, but for the sake of showing you guys what concealer I use and how I do it, this is the RMS, RMS Uncover Up. I use the shade 33 and I just use my finger. So I have been kind of trying to advocate for like natural, like, I guess loving your skin, but in a more realistic way. And I've been kind of posting about that on social media pretty much as long as I've been influencing <laughs> on social media. And I feel like that's just because I'm trying to also encourage myself to be as authentic as possible. And obviously some people had something to say. People were like, oh, your eye bangs are a bit crazy. You're looking a bit pale, but you know what? For me, it was so important to do that because there are so many people who were like, thank you for you know, being honest with your flaws and like things that wouldn't usually show. I'm using translucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier one. Because before that, I would get a lot of messages or DMs on Instagram being like, oh my gosh, you're so perfect. And I was like, it's so ironic that people think that I am, you know, thriving and doing everything that I want to do when in reality, sometimes I just don't feel like I'm at that point. You know, constantly I'm having insecurities just like anyone else. That's one thing I just wanted to remind everyone of is like, Instagram's not real life. It's a highlight reel, essentially. It's just human nature. You don't really want to like put your flaws out there. But I just want you to remember, and I'm like this too, when I go on social media and I see people who I look up to, celebrities, and I'm like, wow, I wish I looked like that. I wish I was as talented as that. You have to remember that they also have their own flaws. None of us are perfect. Okay, blush, Sunny's face. This I've been using for ages. This is their Air Blush Cheek Tint in Peached. You can use your fingers. I just like using this. Obviously it's been used <laughs> a lot. Lovely, okay. I'm gonna do brows. So this is another Laura Mercier product. So this is a brunette brow dimension fiber infused color gel. This is all I use actually. I don't really fill in my brows. I probably should, but I just brush them up. Helps to shape them and still look natural. I have this Sunny's face. I forget what this is called. It's like their brow pen. Um, and if I really do need to fill them in, sometimes I do, I just, Bam, is gone. It's filled in. Perfect. Eyes. Eyes are very boring. It's usually just one or two shades on my eyes. That's a bronzer actually. It's this is a bronze four. But Anthea taught me this. She used to put this on my eyes. Actually, I think for the last ABS CBN ball, this is what she used on my eyes. And now I do it every time. It's just so nice. For me, like I don't like carrying around a whole eyeshadow palette. A bronzer is a really good alternative just because, you know, it looks natural. How lovely. We're on to mascara. So I have two mascaras that I like to use. This is a brown and this is a black. This is from RMS Dior. For the top, I kind of like them to be a little bit more defined. So I use this black RMS one because it really does a good job. 
So that's really nice. And then for the bottom, I love to do my bottom lashes, but I like to do it with a brown mascara because I feel like it just makes it a little bit more natural. It's so hard not to make that fade, that fade. Okay, bottom lashes are done. Last step, lips. I use Vaseline. Um, I just love Vaseline. I feel like it works best for me. Bam, moisturize. And then I'm gonna use this Sunny's Face Peachy Kinda Lip Dip. And then just blend it with your lip, my, my lip, my finger. And there we go. Nice and there we go. That is my morning skincare, girl on the go, skin focused makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had fun sharing with you and giving my little motivational tidbits. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.